Hi everyone and happy new year. It's 2023. Are you one of those people who it takes them like three months to understand that it's a new year and you just continuously write the wrong year and then you have to scratch it out and then you have to like, you know, you write 2022 and then you scratch it out and then you write 2023 over and over again for like three months. I'm one of those people. But anyways, happy 2023. What are your new year's resolutions? What are you hoping to do this year, accomplish this year, get done. Even if you don't tell me or comment below, what are you, like, what do you want to do this year? So let's talk about photography lessons I learned in 2022. The first and the most humbling lesson of them all is that when you think you're good, you're not good. Like, you're just not. It's almost like when you, when you, when you're like, oh my gosh, this is so good and so cool, you can always top it. And if you are stuck in like your past work, you know, and every single image is past tense. So if you're stuck in a past image or a past project, then you're going to plateau. Like you, you're going to plateau if you're not constantly focused on how can I get better? What, what more can I learn? You know, who else can I learn from? Who can I assist? Who can I help help? And especially when it comes to creativity, there's never really a peak. Like you really can't peak, you know? You always can do better. You always can learn more. You always can grow more. You always can collaborate more. You always can, there's always more you can do. And by thinking that you're good, it just, it takes away the opportunity to learn, to grow, to collaborate. Because you're like, oh, I'm good. Like, oh, I'm good. You're not good. There's always more you can do. So that is the first and most humbling lesson I learned from 2022. The second lesson is photography is a collaboration between the photographer and the model. And of course there's other creatives, but when it comes to, you know, especially when it comes to working with consumers, even new models, Like your client is mirroring you, essentially. I always knew that my work reflected me and that my models were simply just, you know, reflecting back something to me. When it comes to elevating your work and when it comes to getting better images, um, uh, you know, uh, a glimmer in the eyes, when it comes to, you know, having a model that that exudes more confidence, even if they're shy, when it comes to getting better poses, when it, when it just comes to comfortability, the photographer, me, you, has to be comfortable within themselves. And we have to create a safe space, an accepting space. We have to be, you know, relaxed and comfortable. That way our client or the model can also feel comfortable because being in front of a camera is so vulnerable. It's such a vulnerable place to be. And as photographers, we like we have to create that safe space and we have to be grounded within ourselves. We have to feel safe on set. We have to feel safe within ourselves so that, you know, we can foster that for for, you know, everyone especially who we're taking a picture of. The third lesson is you don't need anyone to take a good picture. Okay? You don't need anyone. You don't need a model. You don't need a team. All you need is you and your camera. And I don't mean this literally. I mean this more in a mindset way. You know, this past year, there were several months where I felt caught up in, oh, if I don't have a model, if I don't have a makeup artist, if I don't have this, if I don't have that, oh my gosh, like I'm not gonna be able to take the pictures I want. Incorrect. Once I got past that mindset and just started taking pictures of, you know, bull like my breakfast, okay, my cabinets, my refrigerator. I don't know, something flipped and and I actually started booking shoots. So you don't need anyone to take pictures. It's all a mindset. And clients, models, people can feel that desperation and they may not want to work with you because they're probably like, you know, there's something repelling about that desperate energy. The fourth lesson I learned from 2022, which it almost tops one and two, but not really, is you need to invest money in photography. 
And I don't just mean money, I mean money. Like you need to invest money in photography. When it comes to testing your creativity and you know, really playing around, you know, with all that you can do with photography, it costs money. It's going to cost money. In 2022, I spent the most money on like random equipment I did not even know that I wanted or needed in order to make my photo shoots exactly how I wanted them to be. Um, especially when it comes to lighting equipment, there's so much you can do with lighting. It's endless what you can spend your money on. So if you want to move beyond just using your camera and you know, you know, little trinkets here and there, you're going to have to invest money, your money. Okay, that's the fourth lesson I learned. That's also the last lesson I learned. So those are the photography lessons I learned from 2022 that I'm carrying with me into 2023 and literally for the rest of my life are literally ingrained in my subconscious mind now. If you've learned any lessons from 2022, what are they? As always, thank you so much for watching. Just know that you're doing an amazing job. It's okay to make mistakes and to keep going. Okay, keep progressing, keep going, keep working, you can do it. I hope your best intentions manifest, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.